Hey, I'm Ollie Williamson and I'm the head chef at the Fat Duck. So in the kitchen team, there are around 25 chefs, uh, eight or nine KPs, and then tw around 25 in the front of the house as well. As the head chef at the Fat Duck, uh, I basically manage the kitchen day to day, liaising with front of house wherever necessary, just overseeing all the operations, the prep house, the staff canteen, the stock rotation, all of that. Uh, so I think we would, we're taking sustainability really seriously here. Um, at the minute we're really like, I mean it's taken me a year to source the products even to replace a regular piping bag with a biodegradable one. The same with vacuum pack bags, not using cling film. We haven't ordered cling film all year. So yeah, no more, we, wherever we can we're reducing. So not only you know, is the planet important to us, we're really trying to take care of that. Um, we're also opening this kind of sustainability branch to the people. The people that work here, we're trying to get them to have a great work-life balance. We've got a great deal with the local gym, so where the company actually subsidises some of the cost of that gym, reduces the price to invite people to go there and play squash and do yoga and take the classes or whatever they want to do there. Um, we're also, every Saturday we have a, a lady who comes, does reflexology, everyone gets a half an hour slot, you get your massage, thank you. Well, it's important that you know people enjoy where they work. We've gone on the days of people coming in, working 18 hours a day. Don't get me wrong, it, it, it did help me grow into the, the chef I've become today, and I do think people need to work hard. But I also think that people need to enjoy what they do, and it's so nice that we have you know, the armory to be able to supply that to people, to give them nights off or mornings off, give them you know, a yoga class every so often, get a chef to come in, show us how to do, you know, sharpen our knives, a master class or whatever here and there. So it's great to see and, and it, it grows the team, you know, like people are more engaged in what they do, they care about the place that extra little bit because we show we care about them. So I was, I was born and bred in, in Norfolk, uh, I worked there until the age of 20, 21, uh, in a little Michelin star place there, just, you know, commuting every day, working really hard with a, with, in a small restaurant. Um, from there I went to Australia, grew up a lot, understood a different culture, uh, which I think is really important. Um, then I came back and worked for Daniel Clifford for three years. That was my kind of like grounding as a chef. I grew so much there, I learned how to cook, learned all the little details matter, which now I can apply to this role. Um, he encouraged me to go to a three star in San Fran. Uh, I went and did a, a year at, at Bennu, um, which again, another seeing another country's culture really opens your mind to working practices, logistics, management, like all of those things um, that, that really make a difference now. Um, I got to kind of put that in practice when I went to Clove Club. Um, so yeah, the organization, trying to get some structure for cleaning, you know, for day-to-day -day prep, making it you know, better for the guys um, in the team. Um, and then from there, I kind of honed my pastry skills with, with Alex at the greenhouse. Um, and then from there I came here. So at the minute we're doing an anthology series. We are currently on volume four. One more volume and then a tweak into December uh, for a Christmas menu. And then after that into January, um, it's a bit of a no man's land. It's a bit of a well-kept secret um, at the minute um, for the Fat Duck kind of 3.0. But I mean, the, the, the driving of change is these dishes, some of them are like 10 or 12 years old. Um, so you need sometimes to resource products that are now no longer available um, and then just yeah, tweak those dishes. So we're already doing the dishes now for, for volume five. Every Friday we have development meetings where we taste uh, these new dishes and make appropriate changes wherever needed.